Libra, welcome to your word on the street reading. First thing I heard, the devil is a liar. Queen of Wands at the bottom, it says Lilith. What's the word on the street about Libra? What's the word on the street this week? The Nine of Wands, pumpkin head. You may be defense mode. People may know not to F with you. I'm feeling like in this Nine of Wands, like your defense, you may be defense mode. Not defensive per se, but on guard. And rightfully so. Rightfully so, Libra. Yep, Seven of Wands. Mummy. You're preserving your energy. Okay? You're protecting your energy. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. Yep. That's good to see that first and foremost, you know, the four of cups. Yeah. You're dipping and dodging these demons, Libra, like matrix Neo style. We have the ghoul and this person's in a cemetery. You could have beat some type of like graveyard dirt magic again preserving your energy. Also, some of you could be celibate, like self-preservation is what I'm hearing with this four of cups, because usually the four of cups is someone declining an offer as well. Okay. Two cards. What's the word on the street about Libra? The Knight of Swords. Let's go, Archangel Michael. With temperance in reverse. Archangel Michael. I heard your soul guardians. And your spirit guides. Could be actively fighting off. An energy attack from a Sagittarius with the Temperance in reverse. Knight of Swords upright. You could also be coming off a moment of pause. And you're ready to start things up again. And you're going for it. I'm hearing Bone Crusher. I never scared. I never scared. <laughs> okay. All right, Libra. Yep, bottom of the deck. You're stepping on heads. I just heard heads will roll when Libra steps into the room. Ooh. Heads will roll. Woo. Eyes will roll too. They're jelly, Libra. <laughs> You may catch somebody rolling their eyes at you the next seven days. Just know they're a hater. They don't understand you. They misunderstand you. It's okay. Just let them be. Yep. Let spirit take care of it. Your spirit guides surround you. The Ten of Wands. The Dragon. You have very strong spiritual guides and guardians, Libra. Unleash the dragon with the Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh, for those of you that saw um, the new Wakanda forever, does he not remind you of the guy, the water god? 
I forget what his name was. He's even wearing something over his face like the ones in, like how they wore that mask. Something in front of their mouths. It like turned into gills so they could breathe underwater. That's so weird. Hanuman. Hmm. Hmm. Your dragon is also keeping away um, the play play. Because you're not for play play. This knight of wands. Look how they're like rushing off. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Or don't save him. He don't want to be saved. Don't save him. He don't want to be saved. Because <laughs> it's like, he's got his arm up. He's like, I'm off to save the day. <laughs> Oh, don't save him, Libra. You're no Captain Save a Ho. <laughs> Look at that. Judgment. Let's go, Libra. At your side with the Ace of Swords. This is truth. The three headed dog. I just saw somebody playing with their dog, throwing a ball. This is supposedly the three-headed dog that guards the gates of hell. And with this Ace of Swords, again, more of this Mayan, Mayan energy here. Maybe some of you are studying... <clears throat> Mayan culture. I feel all these dark figured people in the judgment card could have been different people that have tried to come for your truth, but you're so heavily guarded. You got two dragons and the three-headed dog. That f they favor you. They all favor Libra. Anything else? Okay, that's a lot of cards, but let's go. The high priestess. The fortune teller. So some of you could do what I do. You work in the art of divination. You could be a psychic seer, a fortune teller, gypsy, or bruja. The tower, gargoyle. Again, gargoyles were placed on each side of the building, on each four corners. So it's like to the four corners. And beyond, you are protected, you are guarded. With the two of swords and the six of swords. Look, the harpy eagle. Again, strong spiritual guardian energy surrounds you. It's a vibe. They want a vibe. Also, you could be hearing a lot of um, paranormal or you could be having some paranormal activity going on. I ain't afraid of no ghost. So the word on the street is you could talk to ghosts. You could be a psychic medium. People wonder if you actually are real, like you're the real deal. Do you actually communicate, harpy, with these higher dimensional entities 
because the harpy is apex, top, very top, top, top of the food chain, feared. So, um, actually, the harpy eagle is feared. Some people could fear your powers, your gifts. What's at the bottom? Five of cups, mermaid. Some people could feel like you're a siren, divine femme librans. It's giving that siren mermaid energy. Again, that was in the new Wakanda movie too. The sirens. Oh my gosh, this is wild. I saw it in the theater when it first came out with my daughter and my mom. It was so good to watch in the theaters. I don't like the 3D or whatever, so I think we just do the HD showing. I don't know. I get a motion sickness super easy. And that 3D stuff just kind of messes with me too. I don't really like 3D movies. I don't really like VR sets. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Anyways. Okay. Mature woman. What does she want? Why is she here? Expectation. Why is the mature woman here in Libra's reading for word on the street? Wise, mature woman here. Oh, you're going to expect to hear word from a lover. Again, this mature woman is coming out as like this mother or this baby mom or this ex-wife or this grandmother, matriarch. She wants to have say-so over your love life or over your person's, your lover's love life. It's like, golly. They don't want you to come into this relationship. Whoever this mature woman is, they would rather see you in poverty, toil, and labor. Maybe your person comes from wealth and their mom or grandmother or whoever, I'm hearing even a stepmother, okay, like the evil stepmother vibe here, it's what I'm getting, it's just the energy, um, she could be trying to keep you and your new lover or your lover apart, yep, all that shuffling back at toil and labor. Yeah, the courtship. You got lovers and courtship, Libra. Single Librans, there is a relationship getting ready to bloom and blossom. And expect movement and divine change with this as well. People are wondering whether you're taken, single or taken, whether you're going to enter into this love relationship, whether they can court you. But spirit is saying divine change is happening from the micro all the way to the macro. Libra, if you found messages in this word on the street reading for your for this week, um, timeless whenever you find it for your next seven days, give me a big thumbs up. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.